Hey everyone, Jake here. Today we're gonna learn how to pour our resin colors together without blending. We're gonna get some color separation and try to do some swirling. Here we go. I get asked this a lot and I've had to ask other people a lot, how do I get this to swirl? And different kind of resins are gonna be at different temperatures. So like today we're gonna use Alumalite Clear Slow. It's my favorite resin for deep cast. And I'm, we're gonna use that today. It has a 12 minute working time. Through experience, I kind of go at 95 degrees or so, but we're gonna take it further than that. What I'm gonna start off doing is these first set of pan blanks, I'm gonna do what a beginner would do, is I'm just gonna mix it together real fast and, and pour the different colors in there and we're gonna get what we get. And, and then I'm gonna go to different temperatures and I'm gonna show you how to pour it nicely so you're not trying to mix it. And then at the end of this, we're gonna have uh, just as soon as it's poured, and then like 90 degrees, 95 degrees, it will go to, go to, uh, to where I can't even put in pressure pot because we're too late. And then I'm gonna sand them, turn them, and then we'll be able to see clearly the difference. So what I'm gonna do is I have some colors that I normally wouldn't go together, but I want a big contrast. It's a vibrant pink, brilliant blue, emerald green. I got some solo cups to mix them in. Uh, one thing you do need to know is Illumilite is one to one by weight. So you have to have this, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some mixed up, and uh, we'll start doing this. Like I said with Illumilite, you have 12 minutes. So I'll put that there, and this first one is not gonna matter much. I didn't heat the molds, I did exactly what a new person would do, and so let's start mixing this. Of course, right now it's what it is in the shop, it's 73 degrees. And that'll come in handy later. Illumilite's real, uh, one of the easy ones to tell if it's mixed good or not. When you first start, you'll have a little swirlies in there, and then kind of when you're mixing it, it have little tracers. Uh, when that's gone and it's clear, you're good to go. And I'm already almost there, with a minute and a half. So, I'm gonna do one little last little mix here. The last thing you wanna do is not mix this well enough. So I'm gonna put this evenly into these cups. We're somewhat evenly. <laughs> We're gonna put our mica powders in there. And this, I'm not, I just want them thick enough to not be able to see through. So and there's not much in there. So the scoop, scoop a little half on your, uh, on your popsicle stick should be pretty good. We're up to three minutes, three and a half minutes. So I need to start getting, get going. Mix these until there's no powder left. Scrape it off the sides. Now, all that's mixed pretty well. I marked this mold over here one, and I marked this one eight. So I'm gonna do what a new person would do. They're just gonna pour it off in here and what you want to do when you're trying to make swirls is go real lightly and when you're new you don't know that so we're just going to dump some in there we'll do these like this i'll get some green I'm gonna fill it up to the line. We're gonna get our stick. This, this still looks pretty cool. And we're gonna mix it up like we see people do on videos. And it's gonna look cool. And then I think we got enough to make one, so I'm gonna wait till 
it gets to 90 degrees. It's 83 degrees right now. I think I got enough for one more. And now for the next time I'll know exactly, I'll know more how much I need to mix. Uh, try not to waste this stuff. It's already kind of <laughs> an experiment, so we'll just wait till it gets up to temperature to about 90 degrees, and then I'm going to make another one. While we're waiting for this to get up to temperature, I need to mention a couple things. I already mentioned that you have to weigh alumilite, you know, by weight, and then the other thing is for clear slow you have to have a pressure pot. Uh, there's really no way to get around it. That's just what it is. Uh, I'll do another video on some epoxies when I get it done. It, it'll be up there and that'll be with or without a pressure pot. I made this mold out of Illumilite Quickset silicone. There's a video up there. Um, and then I altered it and I ended up getting this one. So if you're interested in silicone molds, go check that video out. Now back to this. That's 90, that's right there, 90 degrees. So. One little last little mix. Now we're gonna pour this slowly. You know, we're mixing this at 90, but it's actually going to be more than that because we're pouring, it's getting hot as we're pouring. So hopefully there'll be enough for this last one. And I have little fill lines on my mold, so I know when to stop. It's pretty, pretty handy. I think we will have enough for... Oop, I poured that a little hard, but... I don't expect it to swirl that great. I expect it to blend a little bit at this temperature. So, and then we'll go into the pressure pot. We'll mix them around with the skewer first. That's right to the fill line. And that's at 94 degrees already, so We'll get our little skewer and make some little swirlies in here. These look cool, but if you want that definite color separation, we, we got to work on it. So I'm going to get this in the pressure pot and then we'll wait a couple hours. Now let's get it out of the pressure pot. It's been two hours. So these are the ones at 90 degrees. And 80 degrees. One thing I forgot to do is put mold release on that, so I'm going to do that this time. Although that didn't come out too bad, the mold release will help your molds last longer and help them come out easier. So I'm going to mix this stuff up. I'm not going to make you watch all that stuff. I'm going to uh, heat the mold up like I normally would, and then I'll have everything ready to go. And when we come back, I'll be mixing this, the, mixing the colors up and waiting for it to get to temperature. Here we go. Alumilite mold release. Here you go. Done. We're at 89 degrees right now. I'm um, using the same color so we can see what the exact difference is. I don't want to do different colors and then we, we really can't tell the difference. I wanted to tell the difference between the beginner uh, mistakes and then which temperatures do better so the mold is already i have it about 100 degrees here it is so i think i'm going to pour one at 95 and then another one as soon as i get done with that i'll take the temperature and then whatever temperature that is we'll pour it and get it in the pressure pot because at this point we're going to be running out of time and it's a little bit hot in the shop so the timer might fool you a little bit because you have less time the hotter it is in the shop so we are 90 degrees. I'm going to keep mixing this until it gets to 95 and then I'm going to pour it. Once again, one over here and over there.
Pour it nice and soft. I'm a little bit anxious because I know I'm running out of time. <laughs> we'll get us a stick and stir it, make some uh, swirlies. So now we'll take our temperature again. This is a hundred and 105 degrees. So now we're going to do it again over here. And I know I'm running out of time now. And if it gets the bubbles out, it should be pretty good. Starting to get thick. I might be too late. If so, I'll do it again. So now, stir it with a stick. Let's get it in a pressure pot before it's too late. So it's in the fresh pop. Once again, I'll come back in a couple hours. That makes me nervous going to the very end like that. But then um, if that's good, then we'll uh, go to turning it and then we'll see what the difference is. These are number one side over here. So that's going to be 95 degree ones. Let's get them out of here. So I have it marked right here on the table, 95 degrees. And then 105. So I'll give you a close up here, but already you can tell the difference between, I have the temperatures written right here, and you can see without even turning them or anything, you can see how much better the color separation is. So I'm gonna turn these, I'm gonna sand them and polish them. I have a video on how to sand and polish uh, resin to look like glass, I'll put it up there. And um, I'll save you all that, but I will give you little, one little snapshot of me turning. So here we are, we're gonna uh, get them all done, and then I'll show you a close up of what they really look like when you turn them into a pin. So here we are, here's the 80 degree one. Although it looks cool, there's not three separate colors. There's a whole bunch of colors in there. Um, and that's what most people are going to do. That's an 80 degree pour. And as the temperature goes up, you're going to be able to see the difference. So 90 degrees, as, although all these do look cool. And I might have them too shiny to take this video off. There's 95 degrees, and this is normally what I do. Um, I figure at 95 degrees by the time I pour it and get it in the pressure pot, it's about done. But, and there's definitely three different colors there, but at 105, there's definitely three different colors. Pretty cool swirling going on and not, not any, uh, there's no mixing of colors. Definitely neat. So, let's talk about this. I did use Alumalite Clear Slow on this project, like most projects of mine. Uh, friends at Alumalite gave me a discount code and a link to their site it's down below. Go check it out. Thank you, Alumalite. All of these turned out pretty cool, and I guess depending on what you want, now this will give you an idea of what temperature to pour it at. 
Now you got Zach Higgins and um, and Pam Harris. You look at their their uh, videos and their swirling on theirs. I'll put links to their channels below. But you always wonder how do I do that? Well, this is a start. <laughs> I have work to do also, and I guess this is just one of those deals where you get out the shop and then. Just experiment, that is a pretty fantastic. I've never taken anything to 105 degrees before. And I didn't go higher because this was, by the time I put this in the pressure pot, I couldn't even pour the rest of it out of the cup. So I knew it was too too late after that. And there's no bubbles in this. This is the pressure pot work that was, I got it in there in time, which that's always what I'm worried about. Now this works on big pours too. And this is what I normally do is big pours I've had several of them, it's all clear, and then I want just one color in there. Now, if you do it at 80 degrees, it's gonna turn the whole thing that color. But if you wait until uh, 95 or 105 degrees, 100 degrees, then it's gonna separate. Uh, Carl Jacobson has a good video. We made something while he was here, and then he took it there and turned it, so I'll put a link to that video right there and below, and it'll let you know the importance of waiting to the right temperature. So I guess that's about it. Um, follow me on Instagram if you don't. And I do kind of this kind of stuff all the time on there. So y'all be safe and we'll see you next time and y'all be good.